also when she lost her husband that is when Khaidar Miller's father died when he was uh, hardly seven years old and she had the responsibility of uh, bringing him up and uh, there was no other source of income she used to knit the uh, mats that kora pie and uh, by herself and to support uh, her four five children four sons and one daughter Khaidar Miller was the second and uh, he they were but she focused more on giving proper education to her children and they used to they uh, walk from the his native place Petai on the outskirts of Trinavili town nearly about five to six miles to reach the town the chapter of school where he studied had his early education and he uh, after completion he came to Chennai to for his higher education and uh, he joined Madras Christian College that time it was in uh, Lingajati Street and uh, I invite Justice uh, Hadi Saab to come to me. <coughs> And uh, he, uh, he came to Chennai for his higher studies. See, he, there is a background of his personal history is required. If one has to know about the personality of Haida Miller. And uh, while he was studying in uh, Madras Christian College, that time, the, that was the time the non-cooperation movement, the non-cooperation resolution was passed in the Gauhati session of the Congress party and uh, afterwards the first conference on uh, non-cooperation movement was conducted in Trinal Valley, the provincial political conference by the Madras presidency of the Indian National Congress. They conducted a conference in Trinal Valley and uh, the eminent uh, lawyer Mr. Srinivas Iyengar, he was the he was the uh, uh, convener for the conference and uh, under his leadership, no, he was presiding over the conference under his leadership, Haider Miller Muhammad Ismail Saab and his brother R.K.T. Muhammad Ibrahim, both they were the local conveners and very successfully they conducted. That was the first conference or non-cooperation movement after Gauhati session was conducted in the whole of uh, India. And just a week before the conference, Rajaji was there. I was reading some extracts from the Gazette, which was published in one uh, magazine. Rajaji himself was there in uh, Tunnel Valley to ensure this conference was successful because Haide Millat and the others, you know, they have uh, uh, already, when they were in the Congress, Maulana Muhammad Ali and Maulana Jawhar Ali, the great freedom fighters, and were well, renowned freedom fighters. They were even heading the uh, uh, Indian National Congress for some time at that time. These twin brothers, they had given a call for Khilafat movement and uh, that is against the British. Therefore, uh, Mahatma Gandhi also declared Khilafat movement is also a freedom struggle. And uh, Rajaji and various leaders, they supported this movement. But unfortunately, there are some the Congress leaders from uh, um, uh, Tamil Nadu, that is the Madras presidency, they were not in favor of uh, Khilafat movement and therefore to ensure that Muslims also participate in uh, large numbers, Rajaji himself was present in, uh, in the internal valley and visiting all the Melapadayam, all the Muslim pockets, Karayanallur, Puliyangudi and etc. etc. and uh, inviting people to attend the, uh, make success the non-cooperation conference. Therefore, his political, Khaidamila's political background, you know, the, his uh, functioning starts with uh, with Srinivasa Yengar's leadership, the conference. And at that time, he had um, acquaintance, he developed acquaintance with uh, Jamal, late Jamal Muhammad Sahib. I think the Indian History Congress has written a lot about uh, him and uh, a forgotten nationalist, that's how they have titled. And uh, on whose name the, the college in... Uh, uh, Tirchi is also situated and uh, we have the privilege of uh, having his great grandson uh, he is also here to attend this meeting and he developed acquaintance with Jamal Muhammad Sahib 
and they have developed interest you know on various things in freedom struggle and on astronomy and for almost every day he used to meet uh, him and uh, he was all along all through his life there was not a single day in his life where he has not spoken about jamal mohammed sahib for uh, i could see from all those discussions you know jamal mohammed sahib was his guide and uh, uh, yeah, 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 mentor or i can he's the man on whose footsteps hyderabad entered into politics because there is a uh, one important aspect of jamal mohammed sahib, sahib raja ji has uh, narrated in the uh, condolence message after the demise of uh, Haider Millat. That I will come to it a little later. And then that uh, Haider Millat uh, married the niece of uh, Jamal Huma Sahib and he became one of the partners in that company. And that was one of the la largest company in leather at that time and India's number one company. He was the founder president of uh, Leather Export Promotion Council, Jamal Mohammed Sahib, and Haider Millat was the founder vice president, and uh, Jamal Mohidin Company it was called. And therefore, they were in the forefront in the freedom struggle also. And uh, they, at that time, Haider Millat's marriage, during the marriage, he has he was wearing all along this time a khadi dress, uh, uh, you know, knitted by himself. In his marriage, he, the, uh, the kadi which was knitted by Khaidah Millat himself he was wearing and until this day we are also preserving that Sherwani that is the cap as well as the Sherwani knitted by himself he was wearing during his uh, marriage and then that was the in 1935 36 during that period and along with uh, following uh, Jamal Muhammad Sahib Khaidah Millat Ismail Sahib also left uh, Congress and joined uh, Indian uh, All India Muslim League at that time and then you know the history, and uh, which uh, uh, later ended in uh, uh, partition and uh, and uh, independence for, uh, for us. And then uh, that time, Haider Millat was uh, uh, elected as the opposition leader. He was heading uh, the legislators, about 29 legislators in the Madras Presidency Assembly, and uh, he was the recognized uh, rec uh, leader. And in the most difficult time. For Muslims in the subcontinent, he was heading the Muslims, uh, he was heading this organization uh, and he was giving the leadership for the Muslims. And uh, some people, one uh, our former Chief Minister of Kerala, C.H. Muhammad Koya, used to say, to describe in his uh, beautiful Malayalam language, and that uh, Man for that that pakiri from Parnasa uh, the uh, that crumpet pakiri from that Parnasala, that is that man from uh, crumpet that cottage. He was uh, uh, in fact uh, he led the uh, Muslims to the right direction. When in the troubled uh, waters and when the ship of uh, Muslims was uh, uh, was. Uh, uh, you know, uh, troubled and it was going directionless in the heavy storm and uh, it was Haider Millat, there was a hand, a powerful hand and, uh, which caught the Sukkan that is, uh, and it steered the ship to a right place and anchored there and the man responsible for that hand, the, the person who, and it was Haider Millat, and that is how he used to explain beautifully in his uh, Malayalam language and that was a fact and that time a yeah, direction was needed for Muslims. The world's largest minority and uh, no country had that much of population of Muslims for the, even the entire population. But uh, here, that such a large uh, country and a yeah, direction was required and Haider Millat uh, provided the direction. But only history and now people and uh, they are recalling and uh, only the history has to say and uh, the leadership what he has given was in uh, a yeah, yeah, right earnest or not. And uh, now by going through various uh, articles and various informations coming up, and uh, we are also witnessing, you know, the stand taken by Haider Millet, the foresight, the thoughtfulness, and whatever he was uh, uh, pioneering at that time, whatever he was filing, it all works out to be true and he has only led the community and also 
uh, the nation in the right direction. Generally, <coughs> see, while well, we mention about Haider Miller, the meaning is leader of the community. There are uh, different type of leadership, people may say. Leading, you know, sending all their workers and from the behind, and they give an example of the caravan. To lead a caravan of camels, you could have seen. And so you can sit on a camel in the front or in the back. From the back also you can drive the caravan. Or you can sit on a camel and also you can lead the caravan. But what Hyderabad leadership was, walking before the caravan with that uh, uh, rope of the in his hand, going through the rough surface and seeing whether that surface is a proper one, and then leading that community which is coming behind him in the right direction. That was the leadership Khaira Miller gave. And uh, that was the leadership today required, not only for Muslims, for various communities. A good leadership means the community, you know, without troubling uh, the community, without giving problems, and the community should not uh, have to undergo the uh, problems and uh, onslaughts and damages. And uh, yeah, they have to steer the community without uh, getting into this kind of problems to the destination. And that uh, leadership was given by Haider Miller. We have seen some big movements, even in our neighboring country. There was the cause, the objective. There is a justification. But what has happened? And uh, the big community in Sri Lanka, have, we have seen how they are suffering. And uh, because the objectives, whether they reach or not, but the community as a whole is being scattered and they are suffering for now. Two generations have gone. But Haider Millet was not that leader. Whatever the attacks and whatever uh, which was coming from the enemies and from others, you know, he was taking it on his shoulders and chest and leading the community uh, which is coming behind him in a proper direction. So that is how the meaning of Haider Millet has to be taken. And uh, what made Haider Millet uh, great? Because I am his grandson, if I say something, maybe well, the grandson's uh, price or words, that is how it may, may be taken. But this question, many people, they used to ask, even some very prominent Muslim League ministers from Kerala also, they came and uh, whispered to me, yeah, what, what was the speciality with uh, Haider Miller? But this speciality before coming, some leaders after the demise of Haider Miller, you know, and uh, today, many people, the young generation, do not know about Haider Miller. The reason was, he has set one uh, path, he has set one direction, he has set, uh, he followed certain values. When they were unable to follow that path and all these values, the best thing they can do is, don't tell them, shut the history of Haider Miller and close it. If somebody asks, well, who is Haider Miller? Yes, yes, he had some uh, little bigger uh, beard and uh, some longer cap. And uh, what else you know about it? One famous professor who was uh, written, uh, he was doing research on Haider Miller, who became a principal in one of the leading colleges in Trinavali. He went to the then leader and then asked him, I'm doing a research on Haider Miller, can you give me? He said, what is the, why are you wasting time? What is there in Haider Miller that uh, you have to, you are going to do research? And, uh, but later on, all those details which I'm telling now, that gazette is and all those information, you know, it's all brought out by the same professor only. And he has produced, he has done it for his uh, Yamfil thesis and later he produced a book also on Haider Miller's work. And therefore, there are a lot of things, plenty of things where we have to learn about uh, Haider Miller. And when I was mentioning about Rajaji, that message in 1972 when Haider Miller expired, there is an obituary message which appeared in the newspapers. And he said, when Haider Miller, uh, that is uh, Zakir Hussain, our former president and uh, Rajaji were deputed by Mahatma Gandhi to meet his friend Jamal Muhammad Sahib and uh, for some uh, funds for the national freedom struggle. And the moment uh, they were carrying a letter to Jamal Muhammad Sahib, and when he, they saw the letter, Jamal Muhammad Sahib, he gave him a blank check. I think these are all recorded, even the check number, where it is in cash, everything, it's a recorded history. But Indian uh, History Congress has regarded it. And he gave him a blank check. But uh, Rajaji, this was narrated by Rajaji. And Jamal, uh, he said, 
And then uh, Zakir Hussain was explaining that he's uh, building a university, uh, that is Jamia Millia University, and there is some uh, funds required for this, that. And then Jamal Mohammed Saab gave another check, uh, I think about 60,000, it was in the year 1928-29, 60,000 for uh, towards the construction of that uh, university. And Haida Millad, while coming out, he requested, before going, just pass through my room also, he requested. And when they passed through the room, he asked that land you were telling, uh, some uh, land you wanted to buy and uh, it cost so. And that part of the money was given by uh, Haida Millad's personal fund, because he is a director in the same firm, no? but from his personal fund he gave. And uh, this is uh, how, and uh, this was, uh, and then Rajaji goes on to explain various things and that uh, about uh, the runway, that is his uh, interaction with uh, Haizam Millet and Jamal Muhammad Sahib. For I had the